So it's hard to believe, but the batteries are getting even cheaper. This one is $125, which is about how much I spend on groceries nowadays. These batteries are ridiculously cheap. But the reviews on Amazon are really good, but I don't really trust these anymore. Not only are YouTubers lying about how good a product is if they get it for free, but so are the customers. People get these things for free and they're like, oh, I love it. And then you scroll to the one one star review and he says that it's horrible. So yeah, we're gonna rip this thing open and see what it's like inside. Also, I already did capacity testing and they rated this as 100 amp hours. Well, guess what? So first I charged it nice and slow and I did a discharge test and I got 98.5 amp hours. Then I charged it quickly with 150 amps to see if there was overcurrent protection for charging and it doesn't have it. Then I did a discharge test again and I got 98.8 amp hours. So I don't know about A plus cells when we can't pull full capacity. It's still pretty good for the price, but that's definitely not as advertised. Next, I connect it to my surge station to see if it has overcurrent protection because usually the budget 12 volt batteries do not have it and if they don't have it that means you absolutely need to add a fuse onto each pack and this one does not have it i pulled 456 amps and what does turn it off is over temperature and then it will shut down for a few minutes and then i tested it again and again and again and again, and guess what? It just keeps pulling current until it overheats, which again is pretty typical on the budget batteries. So now let's open it up and see what's inside. The whole bottom of this thing is glued in place. It's potted. It works, that's good. It's actually missing some cells. That's why we're not pulling full capacity. And these have been re-sleeved. Who knows where these came from? Another YouTuber just had this problem, but his battery was $78 and his pulled a lot less than mine. But guess what? Everything else is the same design and they have the same stickers. Everything else is the same. Oh, here's the difference. The BMS is different. So it seems like what these companies do is they have a bunch of relabeled cheap batteries and they throw whatever cells and whatever BMS they can get. So each week it will be different. You know what, lithium solar got a different capacity test result. 88.9 amp hours. 88.9, and mine did 98. So even though the cells look the same, there's a large amount of variance because they're throwing whatever they can find into these things. And this balance lead, this is horrible. This is what you do not want to see inside of a battery. This is dangerous. But the low temp charging protection did work, which is cool. Considering how these are connected, they should have just thrown some more cells and they would have probably pulled full capacity. All right, so here's a close look at the cell. It says eight positive. You know positive. what? His battery is not glued to the bottom like mine. This is different. Now, one guy in the reviews is using it with his golf cart, which I thought was crazy because if it has overcurrent protection, it can't possibly run it. But because it doesn't have overcurrent protection, people are just throwing them in there and it runs. It actually works. I don't know how long it will work for. Running large inductive loads with this little tiny BMS that's rated for 100 amps, who knows how long it will run for till it stops. But it does work for now. So some people get these batteries and they give it a five-star review. Or they're working with the company and they want to get more free stuff. So they keep writing good reviews. Either way, it's hard to tell how good these batteries are. Also, so there's no consistency in the parts that they use. So who knows if you'll get a good one or a bad one. There's probably a thousand of these. This one doesn't even have a brand name on the front of it. Lithium Solars is called the King Boss. There's probably a hundred more with silly names, but it's as cheap as groceries now, which is crazy. I like the direction it's going, but we still have a lot of garbage on the market. Now I can do a million reviews and tell you guys not to buy these, but people will still buy them because they're ridiculously cheap. So if you find someone that's using one, tell them to put a fuse on it. That is so important. None of these have overcurrent protection on the super cheap ones. Also, if this starts swelling, get away from the battery. You never know what can go wrong when the build quality is as bad as this. 
and they're using some random BMS every other unit. And that's pretty much it for this battery. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.